All right, yo, what's up? My name's Petrowski, and the Pokemon servers went down unexpected. A lot of people were anticipating Johto. A lot of people still think it's Johto, but the changelog did just drop within the minute. I will try to get this to you out, out to you guys as soon as possible. Let's go ahead and break down. I have not read any of these. I don't know what's new. I don't know what's happening. This will be just as new for me as it is to you guys. All right, features, PC UI refresh. The PC UI has been refreshed to better accommodate players on mobile platforms that had new inventory. So this seems like a total PC UI overhaul. Box name length can now be up to 20 characters. That's awesome. This is a big update. Big, wow. Boxes can be rearranged by dragging their position. This is super nice. This actually helps out with the crazy amount of hours of box organization. Boxes can now be automatically sorted based on various criteria. This is exciting. Added a show items toggle. That's fucking awesome. Look at all these nice quality of life box changes. This is beautiful. Players can now multi-select. Yo, thank you for that sub. I really appreciate that, Wicked. Players can now multi-select various entries to move them to new positions or change their boxes. Players can now multi-select various entries to move them to new positions or change their box. Various entries? I don't know if I understand this. Someone in chat could follow thank up with me, maybe. <laughs> I really appreciate that, Wicked. Uh, PC box settings are now saved across mobile. Oh, okay, this is Pog. Um, adding, added various additional filters under the advanced search menu. People have been asking for this for a while, being able to search for, in the PC end of the GTL, I really hope they add ability searching. So being able to like search for like a drought torkel, for example, that would be a really, really big deal. Multiple items from the PC that seem to under multiple selection. Yeah, this is nice. So you can like select multiple Pokemon and then take, take their item off essentially. The maximum PC expansion drive count has been increased from 10 to 14. So that's awesome. So now we can go from what? 12 box or 12 plus 10, 22 to uh, 26 math. No plus. Yeah. Right. Math 26 boxes total. So now you can have more max boxes. I feel like they actually, they must be like listening to my content. These are like all things that I feel like I've talked about. Um, this is awesome. This is really nice. Okay. Gen 9 to 1 move updates. Move pools have been adjusted to re reflect Gen 9 to 1. Scarlet Violet move changes. New moves will look below. Bulbasaur. Out I could do a whole video on this. I feel like Charmeleon. Focus Blast. These are all whatever. War Turtle. Outrage. None of these matter so far. I'm going to stroll through these kind of quickly and just try to call out all the ones that like really matter. J nothing on Jigglypuff matters. Nothing on Zubat matters. Um, I'm going to try to do this kind of quickly. I don't want to waste your guys' time too much. Uh, Doug Trio SD. I think, did he, already, did he already have SD? He might have already had SD. Meowth. Persian, Psyduck, Gold Duck. None of these really matter. Primeape. Primeape Drain Punch? I don't know if it had access before. Stealth Rocks Primeape. I definitely don't think he had access to, to Stealth Rocks. That's kind of cool. Um, Anything, a lot of Headbutt Pokemon. Slowbro. Waterfall Sidebeam Helping Hand. Okay, maybe we'll do a more in-depth thing. If you want to see all the changes, maybe I'll do a video calling out the best changes from this, the newest moves that really matter, but definitely check this out for yourself. It should be linked in the for in the description down below. Uh, Snowscape has replaced Hail, so they have it like officially replaced Hail. Wait, they're changing. <gasps> they're doing the defense buff instead of the chip. Snow is a battle effect which increases an ice type's defense by 50%. Wow, they're actually doing it. Oh, this is crazy. This is a really big deal. Hail has changed. Now it's snow. We get the defense boost. I kind of prefer the chip, honestly, but I, this is probably better. But I like the chip for, like, focus ash stuff. Anyways, charge now remains active until next electric. Okay, yeah, that's enough. That's fine. Ally switch may now fail if you... Okay, yep. Uh, Glade's secondary ability is now sharpness. Sharpness boosts the power of slicing moves by 50%. Moves which are boosted with ability to know their tooltip description. That's pretty interesting. Glade is already, like, a decent Pokemon in NU. Protean... Wait, what Pokemon have Protean in Pokemon? Ke Kecleon? I think Kecleon maybe only. Um, TM additions. Various tutors have been changed to TMs. The fall oh, this is nice. Honestly, this is actually really nice. Mudslap, Sidebeam. Which of these matter? Um, which of these matter? I saw Foul Play matter. So Foul Play TM, Seed Bomb TM, Iron Head, Gunk Shot TM. Um, these might be a little more expensive. This is actually a, wor a little worrying. Hyper Voice, Trick, Tailwind. These all super matter. Um... Heat Wave, Earth Power, Outrage, Draco Meteor. These are all really important moves. All of these are like really important moves. Um, a lot of them are. I will say this is interesting because this takes certain item sinks actually out of the game. Um, headbutt TMs means we can headbutt the trees. Oh, that's interesting. They're trying to like plan to that. Um, this is interesting. Um, this 
it's kind of like taking item sinks out of the game and putting more pokey instincts into the game that's kind of interesting um it's not like a you know bad or whatever i just i don't know what kind of decision that it's interesting um other features players cannot manage their whisper blocking settings in the settings the dnd user has been oh no wait i actually use this like permanently okay but okay but it seems like it seems like it'll just be like a settings thing okay it seems like DD essentially still exists it's just moved locations okay add a search bar for tiering displays i assume i'll have to see that in game add another skin to for players pod um for player to player trades a recent transaction summary can now be found yes dude we've been asking for this this is so good for flipping series and to show you guys, like, hey, like, all of my loot from one hour sold and stuff, this is awesome. So now I have the trade log, and I can show you guys the GTL history. That's so sick. That's so good for screenshots and stuff. That's awesome. All right. Protect is being changed a little bit. Is it being buffed or nerfed? I hope it's, I hope it's buffed. I love, <laughs> I love Protect. Very much feel percentage have been updated to Jensen plus behavior. Success odds are multiplied by one third for each consecutive use. For example, Protect success will, will be reduced from 100% to 33%. To eleven, uh, yeah, this is a nerf. This is a huge nerf, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. Um, doesn't it normally go from like 100% to like 50 and then down to 30 or something? Okay, I'm a huge. Okay, I'm like protect, but I'm a fucking loser. Okay, I get it. Previous to moving into where the maximum, the minimum value was a one eighth of success. I mean, that's two. Yeah, okay. Um, team preview now shows gender of the opponents. Okay, Grisidua can no longer be heart. Grisidua can no longer be harvested into seeds or crushed into berry powder. Interesting. Grisidua's sell price. Has been updated from 100 to 250? Huh. Residuals yield has been reduced from 4 to 6 to 3 to 6. Interesting. Okay. No real comments on that. Fix various client crashes, bug fixes, uh, various issues with... Ooh! Fix various issues with Matra Brace and XP Splitter. This is like the XP like reamplifier thing. I don't know if this means it was re-implemented or it's like just still taken out of the game and considered to be an, uh, like incorrect. I'm not sure. Fix an issue where okay, control inputs. We're coming with marts. Add an animation for added an animation for egg hunting, egg hatching. This is cool. I'm excited to see this. Turn off in the settings menu. I'm excited to see what this looks like. That's really cool. Um, fix an issue where duplicate entries for lores which open the Pokedex for certain entries. Yeah, this was a, I saw this a lot. This is a huge issue. Uh, yada yada yada. Fix an issue where wide guards are. And then bug fixes can be... Bug fixes can literally range anywhere from, like, extremely important and impactful or, like, absolutely useless. Uh, useless or, like, not really... Like, it really, really rarely matters. Um, multiple crystals can be used at once. That's... This is a huge... This is nice. I had to use, like, fucking, you know, 60 Grisiduas or whatever back-to-back -back, one at a time to get my shaman up or whatever. That's nice. Um, sleep talk can no longer call natural chatter, mimic... It's an issue where, okay, random PvP niche. These are all great changes, but it's just niche stuff that won't matter to the average person. Uh, magic room now negates choice item selections. Do do do. Fixing for reason, tricking against opponent, which other is okay. Um, rules for held item retention against wild encounters have been standardized. Previously, this is important. Previously, held item retention was implemented differently per move. This led to a different behavior depending on what move was used, such as how Trick would never allow held items to be obtained from wild encounters. In general, players are now able to retain a wild encounter's held item as expected if their original held item was destroyed through consumption or fling. If they captured the opponent, or if they had no held item at the start of the battle, wild held items are not retained if the player would have destroyed them. An untossable item or a permanent non-consumable battle item such as a choice band. In general, what? If they captured the opponent, they had no... I don't know if I understand this. In general, so it just seems like you're now able to trick Pokemon. Wild held items are not retained if the player would have destroyed an untossable item or a permanent. Okay, so they're just kind of like adding trick, I guess, as like an option to thief and coveting. Okay, um, fixed trick message. It's targeting. Fixed an issue where Darmanitan and Zemo would incorrectly use base stats of calculated. Special notes. Okay, back to the good stuff. Items which were marked with the tag, this item is event bound, will, will become untradeable after this seasonal event is this seasonal event. What? This seasonal event. Oh, with this tag. Okay. Will be deleted at a later date. Have been deleted. Okay. So this means all of the tablets. Okay. I see. All of the tablets have been deleted. All of the event items have been deleted. That's all this means. Okay. Hard gold social service board is still in progress. We expect to announce a public test server for the event soon. There you go. 
That's the Johto news. Heart Gold Soul Silver support is still in progress. We expect to announce a public test server event for it soon. Sorry I didn't get to that till the very end. I didn't know it would be at the very, very end, but there it is. Um, a Johto PTS is coming um, soon. TM. That's our current news. That's the Johto update. That's the whole entire update. Sorry for the very long ramble. There's a lot of stuff to like read through. I had I didn't have time. I'm trying to get this out to you guys as quickly as possible. I didn't have time to read through this or like process this. So I appreciate any patience. I appreciate you guys watching. And if you liked this video, if it was helpful, if you want more updates on Johto, make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to uh, be cool. That's it. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Peace.